Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a quick um, discussion on what's coming up next as we are now rolling out slowly the uh, May 2020 update, or version 2004. So, of course, uh, it's still far from being uh, released to uh, pretty much um, uh, to a lot of people, actually. It's you know, I don't think there's more than 1% or 2% of people probably that are on uh, the version 2004. It's just let it go and, you know, it will arrive at some point and, and that's it. So here we are. And you might be thinking, so, you know, what's next and what are going to be the big milestones next? Well, one of the things that today is happening is that um, if we go on Twitter and look at the Windows Insider um, blog post, the insiders on the beta channel are getting 20H2 today. For the first time, for the first time, 20H2 builds uh, are something happening. So 20H2 builds is the next version. So what's going to be in there? Um, let's just say that the next version of Windows 10, 20H2, will come somewhere in October or November of this year. And what's going to happen is that it's going to roll out as a cumulative update. So, you know, all of you going crazy right now saying, oh man, you know, I got to reinstall everything. It's super crazy when you have one of those big updates that takes forever to install. The next update is not going to be like that. The next update is going to be a cumulative update. So if you're on the May 2019 update and move to the November 2019 update, you know what that is because that was the way that it also worked. So that means that we are going to have a smaller update. It's still going to take some time, but it's not going to be as long. Now, if we look at the Windows version for 2004, right now we are running a version called 19041 which is the bill number for version 2004 uh, and, uh, and this .329. Well, notice that the next version this fall is 19042. It's just a one number increment. So that means that it's the same version pretty much. It will have a few features, a few new features that are not in version 2004 right now. But it's not going to be a big change. Don't expect the next version to be something major. And the fact that it's a cumulative update is probably going to be, you know, a welcome change, uh, making it easier and less of a big, you know, effort to install. So that's this. That's pretty much complete, by the way. So what uh, insiders are getting on 19042.330 is already close to what's going to be in November. So you might say, well, why are they testing it now and, you know, and so far away? It's simply because like the version 2004, they the version 2004 was complete pretty much in December, January, and it was mostly testing uh, f starting from that point. Well, pretty much the same is going to happen with this uh, 20H2. So it's testing to make sure that it's going to work right when it's going to roll out next fall. What is the next step after that? The next step after that is going to be interesting because we are going to see, and this is something that we might start seeing actually for insiders that are in the uh, developer channel. The 21H1 is the next big version, and that's early next year. Early next year probably means, you know, uh, April, May, a little bit like the version 2004 we have now. And what that's going to give us is apparently some bigger changes. So we might actually have a lot more changes uh, coming up because of 21H1. So this is going to be the interesting part because we're going to see what that will actually uh, bring and one of the things we think is a revamped start menu possibility Some of you might have seen Windows 10 X. Well There's kind of rumors that Windows 10 X and the um, 
interface and the way that all of this is going to happen slowly all of this is merging into some version of windows and that means that basically the next version next year will have a lot of different features a lot of new stuff and a change in the way that it looks feels and works uh, and this will probably co coincide with the fact that Windows 10 X is also something that's going to come next year. Windows 10 X is also interesting because it is something that promises to work uh, on laptops and desktops. At first it was for, for foldable devices only. But now we know that it's going to be first introduced to people with regular hardware. A laptop, a desktop, a tablet. So this is going to be interesting to see what is going to happen with all of this. And even though 2020, with all that's happening with COVID-19, plus, you know, a rather quiet year and changes in Windows 10, we're going to have maybe a very exciting 20, uh, 2021, where there's going to be bigger changes ahead. And of course, we'll be here talking about this and keeping you up to date regularly with the future of Windows. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.